Welcome everyone to Inside Gyros. Today the second part of our special about gyroplane applications. We have the two models, the recreational model and the professional model. The difference between the gyroplanes uh, to be applied as a force multiplier is mainly in the design. The German models are magnificent machines but they're a beautiful design force to be a gyroplane. The Polish platform uh, like the AG915 or Dead Tercel is not just designed for the professional use, they also can do and perform some recreational operation as well. What we have here is a platform, a cabin that is mainly a roll cage, a carbon roll cage and a tunnel using the same principle of the Formula One cars to protect and make safe for the passengers and the crew. Any professional operation will require a special tool. Is uh, You can do some professional operations with the, with the recreational machines. I've seen in Europe they put a big gimbal cameras in the front because you cannot drill any holes and you cannot put, there's no space inside to add some equipment. Difference than the AG915. The CG, if you mount a big camera, the CG will be drastically changed. When we install equipment in the AG915 or the Tercels, all the, all the weight will go exactly in the same station where the crew is, so the CG don't change a lot. Additionally, the stability of this machine uh, make it different if you want to fly low, if you want to perform some turns, etc. So, the right tool for the right task. This is the point. Alright, so right now that we are in the air, we got the call from the ground, so they're going to be an inspection in the, in, in the airport or in some area. The idea right now is we are transmitting live feed to all the units that proceed to that point. And we can maintain a safe altitude using also the safety um, characteristics of the gyroplane. So we can hover around the area transmit live feed before the units arrive so they understand exactly where is the access point if there's any hazards if there's any danger dogs in the backyard I know if you're a police or if you're a sheriff and you're watching this you will know exactly what I'm talking about the main point of this the main point of this is to keep the guys on the on the ground secure so we are just we're not just using the cameras installed on the aircraft that we're transmit right now we are also two people looking around the idea of having two people is one will be only looking for the for the sectors looking for the points is is very important to, to check additionally if there is car moving people moving around and the pilot will just do the piloting so both will be completely secure so the idea of the force multiplier is before the units on the ground arrive to the target they have a live fee on the cell phone that they can check and I can monitor all the areas on all my target the zones that I have no access visual access so I can secure my perimeter before I, I'm arriving and if I want to get some information relevant to the areas I'm going to to operate well it's very simple Gyro 1, Gyro 1, this is Unit 1, uh, can you check the North East sector and the runway access from the North to Street in the area? Stand by Unit 1, checking North access, video online. All clear, we got you covered, clear to go. Project that Gyro 1, thank you. So that means all the areas in the back 
the backyards, the access, everything around that is really important for me to be secure because in the area when I'm arriving or the units are arriving, they don't have visual access. So right now the gyro is taking care of me on the ground units, surveillance, all the areas around. We just received a call from the ground that they need to secure the northeast area of the of the area of the, of the of Rockledge, let's say in this in this moment that we're doing the simulation. We know by heart because we are watching that and we are watching on the video feed the same thing the, the, the deputy is watching on the ground and we can secure the area. All the 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 points that they really need for us to be on top. Additionally, we can fly very slow in the altitudes with fully secure. We don't have stall, remember that. So for us, it's very, very simple to maintain the, to secure a big area. Additionally, we can cover, in this case, from Melbourne, Rockledge, Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral, and we can be in those points in less than five minutes. If there is an accident in the highway, we can proceed, we can, we will be in the air because of the price of operation. Actually, we can be in the air almost all day with different crews. And we can be like a tool for the deputy. There is an accident in the road, for example, so we know what access they can use the, 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 the rescue team the, if the access to the, or the exit or the entrance of the highway is, is not secure, or it's, it's blocked, we can divert and we can guide the people in the ground exactly like a platform. Command and control, something that we can do for a fraction of a price of a helicopter. If you want more information about all this uh, technology that we can provide right now, if you are in the sheriff department, if you're in the police department and they're looking because of your budget, it's not enough to have the helicopters and even if you have helicopters we know there is very very difficult to to keep it in the air maintenance of this machine is very cheap training in this machine is very easy I mean look at that it's, it's very simple to fly believe me if I can fly everybody can fly um, operation the, the cost of the operation is also very very low that makes this kind of technology a great opportunity for border patrol sheriff department for forest service, for the guys who take care of the of the national parks, when it's some excursion, when the guys in the river uh, doing kayaking, well, we can transmit live fee. We can just be around like, transmitting live fee to the deputy in the office. And if something happened, he knows exactly where they are. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this small simulation that we're doing. Thanks so much to my wife that is joining us today on the um, on this video. Uh, subscribe again if you want to know more information about the professional machines, the AG915s. Um, give us a call, send us a message, send us an email. All the information is in our website, www.airgyro.com. Uh, we are moving forward with really new stuff. We are looking for distributors to make the network. We cannot centralize everything in one point. So we are looking for distributors to provide service, training, maintenance, and do not, uh, sorry, to, to have the best support of the machines because buying the machine is the one thing, but the after sales service is the most important thing and we are really, really working hard to have that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Next time we have something a little bit more fun. Bye.